So the weighted KNN is the simplest extensions from the KNN. So actually, first we will see why we need to extend this KNN to a weighted KNN. Suppose let's see. I think it will be better if we just consider an example. So through an example, we will see it. Suppose let's take it's our uh, the rate points our negative data points. Suppose let's take. Suppose let's take uh, this is our uh, negative set of data points. And uh, let's take blue points uh, the positive set. Suppose let's take our data sets is look like this. And uh, I am using here uh, uh, here YOLO that's for our query point. Suppose let's take our query point is look like this. Yeah, this is our query point. Euro point. So, and this red point is our simple negative points. This is our simple positive set of data points, and it it's our YOLO is our simple query point. If we suppose let's take let let's take we are considering the five KNN. I am using here k is equals to five five KNN. So uh, so what are doing in five KNN? We are interested to find the k nearest number. So I think uh, the k nearest point will be this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. So this this point will be the k nearest point. So let's take this from this picture this point is the k nearest point of the point xq xq so what are actually here so we have find here the two negative points we have two negative points and three positive points okay so if we just consider the majority vote what is the majority vote classes so here majority board is positive classes actually here positive so you can conclude that our output of xq will be yq means positive so our yq will be positive because simple it is a majority board positive class is the majority majority board positive class here we got but the simple thing is if you just think this thing closely so our xq is more closer in negative points than positive points but we are declare this thing actually positive point so how to resolve so what will be the main thing just just zoom this picture if you zooming this picture and see clearly so our uh, xq is more closer than uh, negative points uh, more closer to negative points than the positive points but but for simple measure of what we can declare that this is a a positive point but how to resolve but actually it will be a negative point because because its majority now it's closer to the negative point suppose let's see let's see this thing suppose let's take our xq our we have find here from the for this xq we have find the five we have considered five a n n so let's take our five a n n is x one let 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 this thing x1 y1 first knn first point it's it's the first point x1 a k1 one thing and its corresponding distance first a nearest point and let's take corresponding distance is um, 0 0.1 second uh, nearest point is x2 y2 and its corresponding distance is suppose let's take 0 0.3 0 0.2 okay and the third nearest point is x3 y3 and its distance is let's take 1.0 similarly x4 y4 its distance is 2.0 let's take x5 y5 let's x distance is 4.0 let 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 just i am considering let for this example let so oh, the most closest point here what so the more closest point is x1 and x2 x1 and x2 for so this this is the more closest point so and uh, it's uh, and its class level is what and its class level is actually negative negative 
and uh, then for this class point this class level is positive this class level is positive okay for this next three point this class level is positive but we have declared that our uh, ek, uh, the output of this query point just if we simple the but just if we simple the taking the majority vote we declare that its output its output will be positive class uh, if we just sample the majority vote But it's not true. But actually, it's not true. Not true. So, how to resolve this? So, let's see. So, to resolve this problem, first, first, uh, just take the first consider the uh, data set. First, first consider the data set. So, our K N N point is this type x1 y1 means i have instead of writing y1 here i am writing its class level okay so x1 and its corresponding class level is negative and uh, its distance from the query point and query point is suppose 0.1 x2 its corresponding class level is negative and its distance from the query point is 0.2 x3 its class level is positive and corresponding distance is 1 x4 its uh, class level is positive and corresponding distance is suppose let's take its corresponding distance is 0 0.2 that's i say i am using the same example here okay and x5 class level is positive corresponding distance is 4 okay so here we have got here we have got our two class negative class point negative class levels and three positive class level. Okay. Now simple if you just taking here I am it just it it's the distance means it's the class level it's the class level this is the yi this is simple the di means it's simple distance okay just uh, but uh, here i am using here to consider the weight vector here we have simple using the concept of inverse inverse means more closer we are give the more we are give the more importance for this vector for this point here here simple uh, x1 is the most most closest point to our query point x1 then x2 then corresponding the next of these so here actually we are given we are given the more importance of this point x1 means what means if our distance if our distance di is uh, decreased our wi sample will be increased we will give the more distance more importance and to that vector uh, whose distance from the query point is more or less similarly if our distance is increased we our weight vector is decreased simple we this in we have considered these functions we have we have to consider one the, this function that fulfill this relation so the one or most simplest most simplest function for to to maintain this relationship is inverse function so wi simple inverse of wi so this is the simplest this is the simplest one there are various many many kind of inverse functions many many kind of function that's uh, that's maintained that's follow this relationship but this is the simplest one this is the simplest one simplest one this function there are various you see that is the one way there have many many way to to find these relationships okay so just to just we have applied this function if we just apply this function here what will be the distance 1 by 0 0.1 i think it will be 10 and it will be 15 5 sorry 5 it will be uh, 1 by 1 means 1 it will be 0 0.5 it will be 0 0.2 so for negative classes 
these guys are for negative classes and these guys are responsible for positive okay so now what are doing for negative classes we have just sum up these weight vectors just sum up these weight vectors so what will be the sum value of these weight vectors so what will be the sum value 15 just sum up this vector these the value of these vectors will be 50 now in same thing also we are doing for positive classes so if we just doing the same job for positive classes if we are doing the same job for positive classes what will be the sum value for these classes three classes so the sum value for these classes will be Mm, 1.75 i think i think 1.75 1.25 1 1.75 okay so for this if we just sample sum for this point so just see this if we just compare sum value of negative classes for weight vectors is much larger than the sum value of the uh, um, positive classes for the weight vector so the sum value So the simple thing, so the sum value of W i is for negative classes is much larger than sum value of W i is for positive. Okay, because of these reasons, because of these reasons here, we will declare that our output of our query point will be negative i think uh, you have understand this concept uh, how how to handle this problem of majority vote by simple using the weighted kn but uh, if we using simple the majority vote concept we get its positive its 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 output will be positive but if we take on sample the uh, weighted kn weighted k n n we get the output is output is negative this one is the true one for this example so i think the main concept of weighted imp the importance of the weighted n n n is clear all of you to to handle some problems all the things are same just just we have we are using the importance of the more closer this is the primary key concept here this one more uh, more distance this one this one is the main primary concept more less distance we have given the more importance more far distance we have given the less importance this is the main key concept okay i think in the sample the simple idea of the weighted k n is clear 